It's time for love readings. You're going to get the most out of this love reading if you watch it for your moon sign. This video right here, if you haven't seen it, will tell you why. There's a link in the description box below so you can go right to that to find out why. Um, but regardless of whether you're watching this for your moon sign, which you should be, um, or, or not, whatever, um, I just wanna tell you what we are covering today. What do you need to let go of? Um, what what are you attracting this month in regards to love? What's out of your control? And then what act, what do you need to take action on? We're going to look at singles, couples, and then it's complicated situations. So that could be polyamorous. Maybe um, you're talking to each other, but it's not Facebook official yet. On again, off again, whatever that is. I'm going to do singles first, then couples, and then it's complicated last. The reason being because sometimes when it's complicated, pieces of the single reading and the couple's reading will resonate hard for you and you might wanna go and watch those pieces as well, okay? Um, I think I already said, but this reading is from now until June 15th. Um, and the reason why I go half month to half month is because I put out the general readings at the beginning of every month and then money readings um, also right after that. So let's get started. Oh, I'm using the Gilded Tarot deck today. If you're wondering what that's about, there's a link in the description box below if you wanna purchase one. I don't sell them, but um, if you get it through the affiliate link, I might get like two or three cents from that and it doesn't cost you anything extra. So you're just helping a sister out to keep making these videos. Capricorn singles. What do you need to let go of this month? <sighs> okay. So you're giving and giving and giving. A lot of time, energy, whatever, maybe to certain people, or um, maybe to the endeavor of looking for a partner, but like whatever energy you put in, you're gonna get back, okay? And it's gonna be a handsome reward for you. So if you're putting nothing into trying to find your forever match, well, you'll get nothing You'll get nothing for a super fucking long time. But if you make it a point to try every day a little bit, then the rewards will be huge, okay? So that's good news. It's a good way to start this. So what is it that you're attracting into your life right now? And they're like togetherness, um, companionship, like an actual companion for real. Like not just like a superficial like lover that's gonna be gone tomorrow, like a ride or die. Okay, somebody who will always be there with you, who will never ever leave you. And so um, for some of you, you'll attract that with the intention of it being a love relationship and it'll end up to be a lifelong friendship instead. Okay, I'm just gonna be honest with you. Um, but that is a good thing too, right? Um, and they're saying, you know, for the maybe for more of you, that's what it'll be. Only. For those of you who really put in an effort, maximum of 20% will find that forever, you know, lover, spouse, whatever. Um, and for the rest of you, the efforts that you put into it, sure, you know, you might fuck them for a while and then they turn into your best friend, but it's somebody who will always be there for you. And so it's worth the time and energy Okay, so what's outside of your control this month? And they're just saying, you know, for a lot of you, it has, it's just like, okay. So some of you just actually can't put in the effort to go to try to find a partner. And the reason for that is going to be different for everybody. For some of you, it's just time constraints. For others of you, um, it it's just like, for someone in specific, it's because they're taking care of an elderly, like parent or grandparent, but I think it's a grandparent, specifically a grandma, so that's you. It's like no pressure, just ignore whatever the fuck I'm saying, okay? Because <laughs> um, I'm not talking to you, okay? Um, they're saying, you know, it'll just take a while and that's the situation that you're in. Okay, but, um, you know, for the rest of you, it's kind of like what's outside of your control is that maybe the person you're supposed to be with is in a total chaos shitstorm right now, okay? 
and they're really going through it with their partner that they need to leave before they're with you. They're still together and they are suffering and it's fucking hard for them. Okay, and that's outside of your control. So you can try to manifest them into your life all day. You can try to cast spells, light candles, whatever the fuck people do, like have, you know, wear crystals all over your body, rose quartz and garnet and, you know, visualize it all day long. But it's not gonna make them come faster because they're still in a relationship with somebody else and they're going through it. And even if they saw you across the room, they are so preoccupied with the chaos that they literally can't even, you know, they'd be like, oh, that person's cute, <laughs> you know, but they wouldn't try to pursue it. So that's outside of your control um, for some of you. OK, now, what do you need to take action on? And they're just like, look, get your shit together. Make sure your shit's straight. Everything's balanced. OK, try to be at peace, be at calm because when things change, they're gonna kinda come out of nowhere. And all of a sudden, these big beautiful rewards are gonna come for you when you least expect it. And um, for, like I said, for some of you this month, it's gonna be a lifelong friend. For others of you, it's, I mean, even if it doesn't happen now, they're like within the next two years, if it doesn't happen, you know, between now and June 15th, you know, that you meet that forever person that is your love partner, you know, that you marry or um, commit to for the rest of your life. Um, for a lot of the rest of you, if you can just like stay calm, cool, make sure your shit's together, within two years that'll happen, that they will be finished going through that chaos to be ready to be with you. Now, for those of you that are already in relationships, um, coupled Capricorns, what do you need to let go of this month? And they're like, don't be nitpicky. <laughs> Leo's also had that. They're like, you know, some of you want to just like go back into the past and bring up old shit and nitpick. <laughs> and they're like, don't do it. You know, stop talking about the past. The past is done. OK, at least this month, stop doing it. OK, because it's not helping you move forward. You think it is right because you're working through it. But bringing it up with your partner is not helping the relationship. So what is it that you're attracting into your relationship right now? And they're like, bad fucking luck. Things just feel shitty. And part of the way that you turn that around and you change it, not being nitpicky and not judging up old shit from the past. And actually, you know, when I say not being nitpicky, I want you to look at this video right here. Um, it's like a two second thing. Capricorns, it's pretty funny. <laughs> Um, the assholes of the zodiac. So anyway, um, what's outside of your control? And they're just saying you already know what that is. I don't need to explain it to you. Um, and you know, for some of you, it's what other people tell you how they try to influence you or your partner and your relationship. And it's like we can't stop them from doing that. Sometimes that's in-laws, you know, sometimes that's society. But it's like, we're never gonna be able to change that. So do you just do you, whatever. Um, what is it that you need to take action on? And they're just saying, you just need to do what the right thing for you is in your relationship, even if other people don't like it, even if it causes them a little bit of pain, because the only person that is going to look out for your relationship, aside from your partner, hopefully, right, is you. You are, you know, 50% responsible for the well-being of this relationship. And so, you know, you do what's best there. Um, okay, so those of you in complicated situations, what's up? What do you need to let go of this month? And they're like, this real slow pace. You're just taking things real slow, super, super slow, kind of evaluating how things are gonna go. And it's fucking boring, to be honest. What are you attracting right now? Well, everything you want, so that's cool. Um, what's outside of your control and they're just saying um, like the way that people communicate with you you know um, I'm getting like a lot of uh, pet name type things like a lot of almost like not necessarily cat calling like it's well intentioned but it's annoying it's like sweetie pie honey bear you know, love bug or, or whatever. Um, other 
people or whoever you're dealing with is talking to you that way and maybe you love it um but we can't control the way that they talk to us so you know if you don't love it maybe learn to <laughs> um so what is it that you need to take action on and they're just like this slowness like, why are you taking your fucking time? So why is it so important that they bring it up in the beginning and in the end of this reading for you? And they're just like, look, something good is coming for you, okay? And like, why wouldn't you take that? Why wouldn't you want that within the next three weeks? It's worth investing in. And some of you are like, oh, well, I don't know that I can do this. Like, I don't know that I have the time or I don't know how strong I feel. But really, that's lies. What it is, is that you don't know that you really do want a stable, content, like happy, predictable relationship because maybe A, you haven't experienced a lot of those or um, so you don't know what that's like. So it's scary. Anything new and unknown, even if we want it, can feel kind of scary sometimes. Or um, for others of you, you want things to be unique, okay? You want them to look different. Do you want them to be you know whatever or maybe you have this idea like okay well usually I rush into things with people and so now I want to take this really slow I want it to be different but they're like things are gonna be fine things are going to be lovely you're attracting all the things that you want so make sure that your subconscious has the same ideas in mind as like your head does and your heart does because a lot of you think you want something, but like maybe your deeper suppressed self doesn't necessarily put that vibe out there. Okay, love you so much.